another shitty day. No, you're just a shitty human. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the yeah, fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Oh my huh? god. Calm down. Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Be a weird pervy security guard situation. <sighs> Hold on, Max. Oh man, almost got away. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm. I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? Mm -hmm. You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. So much pressure. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most oh, distinguished... Oh, of course he is. ...and one of Blackwell's most honored students. Boy. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. Well, it happened. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Yeah, you're not gonna That's do shit, it. are you? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Oh boy. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. No, I'm not going to rewind time and change it. No, stop. Everybody's out here having fun. Doing fun shit for fun people. Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Oh shit. Immediately calls Nathan Prescott into the office. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You wanna fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and this is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracies. <laughs> this might be too complicated for you. That's fair. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. That's a little rude. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. She doesn't care that I'm just looking. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Yeah, I do. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. 
Most impressive. It's a new Max. era. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Uh, am I? I'm not controlling this thing. Right? Yeah, I'm not. Oh no! Whoa! Man, it would be fun to actually use a drone for photography in real life. Don't put it in the sink! Am I just gonna do this forever? Cool. You're not gonna say a single word after that? Oh, new text from Warren. Do you want to meet for a coffee after school? I need an excuse not to study. Please make sure you check your necromantic on my flash drive. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. <laughs> Don't ignore this message. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info and space. Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Cute. Oh, this guy looks like... Oh my god, he's even got a confederate flag. It looks like a porn stash from fucking Orange is the New Black. Felt so shitty I just wanted to get to the bathroom alone and wash my face after this nightmare or daymare. Once I got to the bathroom I saw this odd beautiful butterfly. Nathan Prescott came in, whipped out a gun and shot the girl. This is where it gets strange. When Nathan fired the gun I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason. Suddenly I could feel the world twisting around me and this pressure in my head. Everything seemed to rewind and I found myself right back at my class desk. Literally thought I had dosed, had been dosed with some drug. Only way to find out if I was having a breakdown was to go back to the bathroom and see if I can save that girl. I hid in the corner again, Nathan showed up. Then the girl came into the bathroom. Before Nathan could shoot her, I smashed open the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away. Possible fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. He didn't want to believe me. Hmm. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Nope, I don't want to go there. No? Why not? Don't I have to take a picture of a broken skateboard or something? There's a bunch of dope skaters over here. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? <laughs> You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Oh, I can now. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skateboard shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Uh, let's see a tray flip. Go for a tree flip. 
Let's get Trevor all over that action. Stop waving them. Lol. You all right there, bud? I need to look for a guy in a bow tie. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. But you should know the difference. Damn. Good try. Wrong answer. Right, we're just gonna keep doing this over and over again until I get the answer hey, right. Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it, man. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? A perusal? It's not a privilege I grant to many. Peruse honest, my sir. portfolio. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. That's it? Just one page? Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Well, that sounds like a conspiracy waiting to happen. Oh, what's this cool kid doing? Clever. Hey, Luke. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him? Uh, yeah, kind of. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today, and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. Nothing's gonna happen you next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. All right. Uh, dormitories. Is that where I have to go meet that kid? No, I have to go to the parking lot, right? The kid said to meet him in the parking lot. I don't want to go that way. Wait, what? Why? Oh, maybe this is the parking lot. Maybe. Nobody with a bow tie in here, huh? So bizarre to be back here after five years. Bigfoot. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? I've Man, had that relationship before. These are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once.
So I can just sit here forever? Signpost. Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. Wait, didn't Buddy say to meet him in the parking lot? Uh, where the fuck are those messages? No. Warren. Uh, I'll meet you in the lot. Can you get my flat? Oh, I have to get his flash drive first. Copy. That was a leaflet. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Bible study. Uh, have you friended me yet? Are you talking to me, pro gamer? Uh, no, I haven't added you yet. We can definitely... I'm, I definitely get your messages, though. Dorms, that's where I need to go. Let's go get Warren's flash drive. Oh, cool oh, jock kids. Bring it, bring it, bruh. Bruh? Yeah. yeah. Like, totally. It's tubular. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Hi, Alyssa. Oh. Hi, Max. Uh, what are you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Oh, okay. Saw, bro. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. <laughs> All right. No. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Good. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything... Max, I like to be alone, if you don't mind. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. That's fair. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Nice, Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. Oh, he is creepy. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. Sweet! What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. Uh-huh. That's cute. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Yeah. Now I have to go paint windows. See you later, Samuel. And watch your Bye, Samuel. Your max. After I sweep, I paint. Weird. Uh, can I get inside? Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Selfie hoe? Bitch. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The okay. Daguerrean process, sir. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Looks back at friends for laughter. Since you know all the answers, 
I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Yeah. Well, this oh, is like... wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Hmm. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? That's gonna be in the janitor's room, right? That was over here. Da -da 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 -da. Nice, bro. Nice, bro. Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Awesome. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You oh my god. Right? I can't even chill on the steps. Like, oh my god. Can't even chill on the steps. None shall pass. Capiche? Alright, fine. No, I need to go further back. Tamper with that bucket. Okay, let's see if this works. Women in their dang clothes, right? I mean... I know plenty of men who really like their clothes. No, stop. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. No, no, stop. Cancel. Okay, tamper with that. Okay, let's see if this works. Then I gotta go turn the sprinklers up. What the hell? Yes. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no way! No fucking you okay, way! Nice. Oh, Sammy, I'm oh, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold oh, on, don't be rude to on. Samuel. We'll get some towels, we'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Go take a don't picture. Don't with Max, bitches. Take a picture. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Hey, Victoria. Uh, oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to comfort her, aren't I? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. Yeah. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Sweet. Uh, can I get past you now? A better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. Nice. That was mean, but pretty funny. One of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. 
Thanks. Bye now. Victoria probably played. Bye bye. Hurry, Courtney. Oh my god, stop. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Goodbye. Uh, read this week's edition of Blackwell Totem. Juliet, extreme reporter. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Showers open. They don't look open. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Uh, poster. Don't be a zombie. Peace. Your actions will have consequences. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Pie pie. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. All right. Max's room. Oh, my slate's empty. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Let's draw something new. Huh? <laughs> Obvious, but true. Alright. Home sweet home. The winger and the cow. Raccoon. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. Tell me about it. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. What's in the drawer? <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best Aww. friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Wasn't that the girl from the bathroom, though? Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Cute. Don't you? Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. El Capitan. When I your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. That was a note. Warren even left me a little message with this Cinematic flash contents of this flash drive He's are such a of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care for the most discriminating viewer. Congratulate you on your taste and your eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Right. 